Singapore might soon allow bugs to be sold as human food. So today I'm gonna try some for you guys so you know how they taste. These are all from Bangkok where I went earlier this month and I brought back some snacks. Flying cricket! I thought they would look crispier. They look quite fluffy, right? Like they look like they're gonna be quite crunchy, but it really smells bad. It smells like a fish shop. Let's go. Mmm, <sighs> very bad. <laughs> Musty is the word. Two out of five pupa. Next, we are gonna try Tom Yum flavoured crispy cricker. Oh, they are very big. It's very off-putting. Mmm. This is better actually. It's a little bit spicy because it's tom yum and then there's a little bit of sourness from the kaffir lime leaves. Oh, it's a bit more salty as well. So all these things together disguise the cricketiness of it. I don't feel like I need to quickly swallow it and get this taste out of my mouth. It's not bad. I think the seasoning really makes a difference. Okay. Mmm. 4 out of 5 pupa. Now we're going to try cricket bites. So these are like regular chips but they have a certain percentage of cricket flour. I'm actually quite excited to eat this because it doesn't look like a cricket. It smells quite nice. This is barbecue flavour and it has 4 grams of protein in one serving. So it's like more protein than a regular snack. This is not even scary. Yay! Okay. Mmm. It's just a regular chip. In a blind test, confirm people won't know. I give this 5 out of 5 pupa. People have been eating insects for years, right, in many parts of the world. And actually, even these insect products are not entirely new. Actually, if you think about it, we eat a lot of different types of food that would normally be considered disgusting. We eat shrimp. And shrimps are like the cockroaches of the sea. We love honey, and honey is basically bee vomit. And it's just kind of like how it takes time, right, to get used to a new idea, like how we took years to get used to new water. At one point, we were like, oh, it's toilet water. So I think where we're at right now is moving the needle on this conversation, trying to incorporate some of these products into the Singapore diet so that in time to come, cricket flour or even actual crickets will just be something that we accept as something that we have as part of our food. <laughs>